Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, so today I created this teal cut crease eye look using a very affordable palette from my collection. It is this Makeup Obsessions After Dark palette and this is what she looks like. This is a $15 palette but I got it on sale for $10.50 which is great. You get 16 shadows in here. It does include a mirror. There are regular shadows, pressed pigments, and shimmers. Now I did choose this palette because I was thinking about purchasing the Naked Wild West palette. But I wanted to play with this just to see how I felt about the color story. And this is what she looks like. Very, very beautiful palette. Some basic neutrals, but beautiful pops of teal and warm toned shades. So let's go ahead and do some swatches for this palette. Now, looking at the swatches, some of the shadows swatch better than others. But quite honestly, for this to be an affordable palette, I think that the shadows swatched very nicely. I've definitely seen worse swatches. Now, before we jump into this eye look today, I wanted to go ahead and take a look at some other palettes that I have in my collection that are similar to the Wild West palette, just in case you have some of those in your collection and you might feel like you don't need to buy it. So let's just check those out. Now, another palette from my collection that I wanted to show is this Midas Cosmetics High Times palette. This palette was actually brought to my attention by one of my viewers. I totally forgot about this whole color story being in this palette and being so similar to the Urban Decay Wild West palette. But she mentioned this palette when I was doing my Shop My Stash, I believe, and I actually chose the After Dark palette to use. And she mentioned how similar those two palettes are so this is definitely something that i feel like if you have this palette you really don't need the um, urban decay palette because it does have the same feel the same type of shades and it's actually a really really nice palette now the next palette that i wanted to mention is this Mayali beauty yaya palette this palette, very gorgeous packaging as you can see, but this palette as well has like a similar feel, similar tone with the shades. It's not an exact dupe, of course. This one goes a little more like warm. It leans a little bit more on the kind of peachy side, but if you're buying that palette just for the dark, you know, teal and like sea foam shimmer, this is definitely a palette that you can use to create the same type of looks. Now this palette here is the Morphe 18B, the Making Bank palette. And this is their green toned palette. As you can see, there's a lot of shades in here. So it does kind of have more of like the peachy tones over here with actually a yellow in there as well. But as you can see, it does have that dark, dark teal in there has a gray shade it also has like this gorgeous sea foam blue shimmer here and so i feel like this is definitely a palette you can use to create the same type of looks definitely with these just kind of neutral shades in here and we all know the naked palettes have plenty of neutral shades to use so yeah i think this is a nice palette if you already have this to kind of rethink maybe if you need the Wild West. Now this Colored Rain Safari palette, of course, definitely not the exact same color story. Look at that packaging, so pretty, you guys. Definitely not the same color story. And when you open it up, it's like the gold background can be a little bit distracting. But the reason why I wanted to show this palette as well is because there is a really, really gorgeous dark teal matte shade in here there are some nice gorgeous warm tone like orangey shades in here but there's also like these really pretty cool tone mattes in there as well beautiful beautiful shimmers it doesn't lean towards the kind of like turquoise or sea foam type green like the wild west palette does but i feel like you know maybe you don't exactly want 
that color story but you do want this dark teal green if you already have this palette then you might be in you know a good place to not buy it now i don't think that this palette is available anymore i know it left and came back left and came back but it's still a really gorgeous palette now i also pulled a couple of my melt cosmetics palettes and i will tell you why this first one here the smoke session i pulled this of course because it does have that dark teal in there and it's a very very dark one which is nice gorgeous beautiful matte shade but let's just ignore this beautiful gold side over here and look at this <laughs> but over here as you can see definitely some really gorgeous light sea foam type shimmer shades in here which would probably put the Urban Decay <laughs> shimmer to shame, quite honestly. I know Melt can be a little difficult for some people to work with, but if you already have this palette, quite frankly, I really don't think you need the Urban Decay palette. And I also picked the Rust palette, and it's only because for me, if I was going to purchase the um, Wild West palette, it honestly would be because of those teals and because of the beautiful kind of like burnt orangey type shades, you know, that brown in there that's kind of like bricky brown and it just gives you like that beautiful warm feel to it. That's why I would purchase it and <laughs> having this palette, I definitely don't need it. I have some other gorgeous shimmers in here to play with. Definitely some, you know, lighter neutral shades pop a yellow if i wanted that but even this dark cool tone brown down here really really nice so yeah i think if you have these two palettes then yeah you definitely don't need it now of course i had to pull the subculture <laughs> because you know this one is known for its you know really pretty dark uh matte green shade in there there's a lighter one in here as well. It doesn't have the pretty sea foam shimmer, but there's some pretty browns uh, in here, neutral shades that you could use to create a look. And if the shade that you're going for is that dark um, blue shade, that dark teal, aqua, whatever you want to call it, it's definitely, you know, you have a couple of options in this palette to play with as well. And you do have some gorgeous shimmers. Also, if you're not just, you know, looking for that sea foam blue or sea foam turquoise type shade. Now, this palette, I never even would have thought of it originally, but as I was digging through my palettes and I looked at the color story for this Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette, the first one, I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> because, of course, we know there's a lot of beautiful warm and cool tone neutrals in here to play with but we also know down here at the bottom we get this you know deep dark you know teal type green you have this beautiful kind of like sea foam blue shimmer some other turquoise or teal and shimmer shades to play with here definitely enough cool tone deep shades it doesn't have that gray you know, that dark gray that is in the Wild West palette that, you know, a lot of palettes don't have. But if you're not particularly buying it for that, then a palette like this might actually be something you already have and can create the same type of looks. So, yeah, these four shades down here definitely would do it for me. And lastly, I wanted to mention this Morphe palette. This one is actually the 35V Stunning Vibes. And the reason why I wanted to mention this palette, because at first glance, of course, it doesn't look like it would be, um, you know, any type of comparison or dupe palette. But I did want to pull it because it does have, once again, the beautiful, like, dark teal type blue, turquoise, sea, whatever that color is. <laughs> it has that in there. It also has this beautiful shimmer. It's not like the pretty light sea foam one, but this one is gorgeous as well. Let me just swatch these two for you guys so you can see what I mean. See how gorgeous they are? Ugh. And although it's not the exact same as in that palette, 
those two shades are gorgeous <laughs> and you know of course you do have plenty of neutrals plenty of warm tones some cool tones over here and you know some additional fun to play with in this palette but i did want to just show this because of the fact of those two shades there and then there are a whole plethora of neutrals and beautiful shimmers in here to play with as well so now that I've shown you guys some palettes that I have in my collection that I feel like have very similar shades or tones to the Wild West palette, let's go ahead and jump into the look that I created using the After Dark palette. Okay, you guys, so to start off, I'm going to be doing my brows using my Pure On Point pencil. As I've stated before, this is like one of my favorite pencils to use for my brows. It's actually an eyeliner pencil, but because it's so dark and easy, Easy to use it just works out so perfectly for me for my brows and I love it to clean it up I'm going in with my wet n wild photo focus concealer as I always do as you can see I just apply some to a flat brush and just use that to just make my brows look a little bit more neat and pulled together So to prep my lids, I'm going to be using my Fenty Beauty eyeshadow primer today and I pulled this from my shop mustache. have used it a few, few times and even though it doesn't have like a really bright base like I'm used to, it's actually a really good eyeshadow primer. I actually like it a lot. So the first shade I'm going into is this beautiful warm tone brown. It's called Lights Out and I'm just using kind of a, a pointed blending brush to tap that in my crease area. As you can see, it is very nicely pigmented. I'm just kind of taking my time trying to figure out exactly what type of eye look I want to do. But yeah, I was very surprised at the pigmentation already. Next, I'm going into that beautiful orange shade called Lifeline and I'm using a small pointed brush to just blend that on top of that brown. I really wanted that orange to show and the pigmentation on this is really nice as well. This palette is surprising me already. Next I'm going into this a little bit more cool tone brown. It's called Darkness and it's really not that dark of a brown in my opinion, but that's just for my skin tone. I know for lighter skin tones, it would come off darker, but I'm just using that to deepen that outer corner just a bit and blending it into those first two shades. Now, before I go in with my shimmer, I am going to place down some of my NYX glitter primer and I'm just tapping that on my lid in the shape that I want for this cut crease look. I found that if I go in with the glitter primer, it really helps all shimmers pop, whether they be more affordable palettes or the more expensive palettes. So I'm taking the shade Wicked, beautiful bright sea foam type green or teal shade, and I'm tapping that right over that glitter primer. Next, I'm going into After Hours, which is a bit of a darker teal type shimmer. And I feel like it blended in so nicely with that lighter shade. They just blended seamlessly together. I had to look and make sure it was laying down. It was blending so nicely. Very, very pretty. And then for that outer corner, I am going into this dark teal shade in the palette, which is called Ink. And I'm just taking a small pointed brush and tapping that just in my outer corner to blend into that green shimmer, just to make it, you know, nice and seamless. Now moving on to the face, I'm going to prime my face with this Strawberry Whip Primer from I Heart Revolution. Now I did choose this for my shop, my stash as well, and I find that I'm really liking this primer. It definitely smooths, blurs, fills in my pores. It's just very, very soft. I love how it feels. It's super smooth, you guys. Like if you've tried this, then you probably know what I mean. But if you like a mattifying primer, you'll definitely like this because it's very smooth and soft and definitely blurs your skin. So for my dark circles and hyperpigmentation, as usual, I'm going in with my Essence Camouflage Concealer. 
and just placing that down as you can see it really works well to cancel out <laughs> my dark circles <laughs> I mean I love using this stuff because it just makes them disappear and it's a really really nice coverage so I've been using this infallible from L'Oreal this is the 24 hour foundation the fresh wear and I really like it it's a very matte foundation but it definitely gives me a nice natural type finish it doesn't make my skin feel dry or you know like super matte it's just really really nice if you don't like matte foundation you might not like it I find that I don't need to use a whole lot of this foundation so maybe that's why it's a little more more matte on my complexion but I really like it so I decided to go ahead and use an OG for this shop my stash. So I pulled out my LA Girl Pro Conceal, okay? And as you can see, I'm just using a flat brush to apply it. And this one is the shade Fawn. So I didn't really know what to expect um, with using this again, you know, how it was going to work out for me, but it's a really nice concealer I definitely see why I used to like it in the past I feel like I used a lot less this time around than I would have in the past now to set those highlighted areas I'm using my Smashbox photo finish fresh setting powder I have the shade 02 the one thing I don't like about this powder is even though the packaging is really cool it can get a bit messy when you close it the powder kind of goes everywhere around the side so I don't really care for that but the powder itself is actually really nice I really really like it and I'm enjoying using it so to set the rest of my face I am using my L'Oreal infallible fresh wear powder foundation to set my face I like the tone of this I have 355 Sienna and I find that it just works well for my skin tone it does set my makeup down nicely it holds it in place all day I just have a little bit of oils peeking through but with me using a more mattifying primer it does work out better for me so as you can see now I'm going in with my morphe um, Glamour Bronze Bronzer in the shade Phenom, just warming up those cheeks. Also my forehead and I did decide to go ahead and warm up my nose a little bit as well. I don't always do that but occasionally I will go in and just kind of warm up the sides of my nose a bit. Now for blush I'm using this ColourPop Super Shock Cheek. This one is in the shade Drop of a Hat. I wasn't sure how this light peachy shade would show up on me and it is definitely a very very light light blush as you can see here very light but it's very pretty I think if you want something not too harsh something very subtle it's very very subtle <laughs> but it's pretty next I'm going into this uh, ABH glow kit and I'm taking the darkest shade here and I'm just using that for my highlighter today. I did want a nice soft glow. This glow kit is so nice. I'm really, really loving it. Very, very pretty. Now for my lower lash line, I'm going in with my ColourPop and Christy Collab Pencil. This one is the shade Spare Time. And to further smoke that out, I'm going back into that dark teal shade out of the palette and just really smoking out that lower lash line with that color. I did kind of want a bold lower lash line, so I did kind of go in with this. I'm going to go ahead and pop on these lashes. Okay, nobody needs to see that. <laughs> So these are the lashes that I'm using today and for my inner corner pop I'm going into this really light shade here it's called night <laughs> how ironic but yeah that shade is gorgeous I didn't even spray my brush you guys did not spray my brush just tapped it on and look at how bright and vibrant that is I love it so for my lips I did just line them with a generic lip liner I don't even remember the name of it but I'm going in with one of my new Revlon Colorstay Satin Ink Lips. This one is the shade 13, holy pumpkin. <laughs> I've really been enjoying playing with this shade. I like it a lot. 
And to set my face, I'm using my Cover Effects. This is the Dewy Finish Setting Spray. I love this stuff, you guys. I'm definitely gonna buy a large one <laughs> because I'm really, really feeling it. So yeah, I love it. But this is the look I created today, you guys, using this very affordable After Dark palette from Makeup Obsessions. I definitely do not think I'm gonna end up buying the Wild West palette just because I truly don't need it. The packaging is bomb and all, but yeah, I'm kind of beyond that right now. So I'm happy with the palette that I have and I like it a lot. So hopefully you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much. Don't forget to hit that like and I'll see you on the next one. Toodles. Thank you.